Hello everybody, it's time to start working on your research papers. So I've put together a little video which will cover research the IVC library from home. When I was completing my master's degree in English online, I never had to go to a physical library. I did all of my research through my university's library virtually from my home. So this is what you can do here. So here again the video is called research the IVC library from home what am I going to cover or show you today one how to locate the IVC library database two how to log into it number three how to do a search and I think the database that you'll want to concentrate on is opposing viewpoints since we are writing persuasive or argumentative essays All right, sorry about that phone call. If you ever create a video for your classes, make sure your phone is on vibrate. So anyway, I was saying that the opposing viewpoints database is the one you'll probably want to use since we are doing an argumentative or a persuasive research paper. And then number four, I'll show you how to look for full text citations and they also let you listen to the articles. So if you reading you can actually have someone read it to you it's I'll show you that in a minute here but the full text citations if you click on that when you're doing your search you will only get articles that are all there where you don't have to find them through somewhere else or it's not just the abstract or a summary I always click on full text citation because I can actually use those papers the whole thing is there in my research paper I can actually cite it so I'll show you how to do that so you don't waste time just looking at abstracts or other things that you really don't need. Okay, let's go to the IVC library. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the website, go to for students, and you want to go to the library. Next, it says information literacy. Come down here to where it says databases by subject list. Click on here. Here are all of the databases that the school offers. The three that you would really want to use are EBSCOhost, and then there is another one called ProQuest. But the one I think you're really going to use is Opposing Viewpoints in Context. So click on here, then you want to proceed. Once you're here, you have all of these options, but what I do is I click on Advanced. Then let's type in Sugar Tax because that's one of our prompts for the research paper. Sugar Tax, and then here it says Full Text Documents. Leave that clicked. That way, again, you'll get the full article, not just an abstract. Or you will not have to look it up some, for, for somewhere else, from somewhere else, excuse me. So let's hit search. Here are the choices they give us. If you come over here, you can click over here for more. But let's just click on the first one here. Tax cuts here. Again, this is going to be the full article because we clicked on full text. You can listen to the article. It will actually read it to you. So if you want to, you can listen to it as you read it. Then over here, if you decide you really like it, come over here and you can download it. You can print it. And then you can use this in your paper. This is the opposing viewpoints con in context. This is the database I would use the most of. Also, if it requires you to log in, because I, I logged in previously, if you'll have to use your G number, and then your date of birth. But I think you guys will be okay. If not, let me show you. Actually, just remember, I'm not going to go through that step. I don't think you will. If you come across where you have to log in, just follow the directions. Just use your G number or your social security number. I would recommend using your G number. I don't like to put my social security number out on the web. And then for your password, again, it would be your birth date. If you come across where you have to log in, 
it'll look like the WebStar login. Look right above the login area and the instructions are there. Or if you have any questions, just email me or text me. Okay, again, use the opposing viewpoints in context. I think that will work really well for you. And uh, good luck with your research paper. Thank you.